What's good, y'all? I hope everybody had an amazing day. If your day is just now getting started, I hope you have a great day. So let's just get straight into it, okay? The word for today is closed mouths won't get fed. All right? Closed mouths won't get fed. So Holy Spirit, let me the scripture, Matthew 7, 7, which basically talks about asking you shall receive, seeking you shall find, knocking doors will be open unto you, right? So one day, you know, I'm praying and God calls me up. He takes an hour worth of information and turns it into five seconds. And he just runs down a list and he goes, look, this was about to be done for you. Okay. Hangs up the phone. He didn't tell me how. He didn't tell me when. He just told me what was going to happen. And he surely didn't give me any time to ask any questions. Okay. So a couple seconds go by. Minutes go by. Minutes turn to hours. Hours turn to days. You know me. I pick up that phone. I'm like, no, 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 no. Let me call him back. Because he didn't tell me anything. And I'm not seeing anything. Right? God sends me the voicemail, child. I call him again. He sends me the voicemail again. So third time's the charm, of course. It's going to work this time. So I'll call on him again. No answer. Child, let me tell you. When God sends you the voicemail, it is not him saying no. It's not him saying never. It's not him just ignoring you. This is God showing you, be still and know that I am God. This is God straight up telling you, look, I'm busy. I'm going to get back to you later, okay? So going back to scripture, Matthew 7, 7, a lot of us get the asking portion down. We're really good about praying to God and telling him what we need and asking for all the things we want. And God knows your heart. He knows your desires. So if it's in his will, he will make it happen. But a lot of us stop there and we forget to finish off that scripture or we refuse to finish off that scripture, which is to seek and knock. And that represents the working portion, right? So when God says, I'm busy and I'll get back to you, God is going into rooms. He is going ahead of you into rooms that he is trying to prepare for you. And in those rooms that he's trying to prepare for you, things have to be shifted, okay? If he sends you the voicemail, that just means this room is not prepared for you. I'm still working. All good and perfect things come from the Lord. And those good and perfect things take time. God will never set you up to fumble the bag, okay? He wants you to be able to obtain and to maintain all he has in store for you. So with that being said, once you pray, okay, you have received your answer. That's God calling you and hanging up the phone. But the asking, or not the asking, excuse me, the seeking and the knocking means that you're expected and required to be working while he's working. Okay? If he's over here shifting things around, moving people out of position, placing people in position, this season of being still, don't get it confused. It's not for you to sit on your behind and wait by the phone for that phone call. This season of being still is for you to pick up that phone, attach it to your hip, turn that ringer up real loud, okay? And you keep on hustling and doing what you got to do, okay? You still have priorities and obligations that the Lord expects you to take care of. If he can't trust you to handle this small and minor responsibilities over here, how is he going to trust you to handle the big responsibilities that he is preparing for you, right? This season of being still is the season where he is showing you your enemies, he is showing you how to lay hands on and pray for it. And y'all, I'm not talking about fighting. But he is teaching you how to pray for those who can't stand the sight of you. He is teaching you how to bless those who curse you. Because in this room, what he has in store for you is so big that if you don't know how to handle your enemies, if you don't know how to sit back and let it roll off your back, and allow God to step in because vengeance is his. All right? He cannot trust you in these rooms. You have to learn how to handle these things. So you on the other side need to be working to get your heart posture right. You on the other side need to be working. Okay. Let me stay in my lane. This is my fight. This is God's fight. 
this is a chance for you to open your eyes and see who's with you and who's not with you, right? Because when God gives you that call back, you better be ready to enter that room he has prepared for you, okay? So I'm here to tell somebody, don't just pray and stop there, especially when you don't see it. You know, like I said, he called me up, hung up the phone, didn't tell me how, didn't tell me when, and I didn't get to ask any questions. He's expecting you to trust him and take care of what you have to take care of. So keep asking, then keep seeking, then keep knocking, keep praying, keep fasting, keep working, because trust, okay? God's got something for you. Closed mouths won't get fed.